an East Tennessee native. Staff Sergeant Ryan Knauss is among the 13 United States military members killed in a suicide bombing in Afghanistan. That Gibbs High grad volunteered to help with the American withdrawal from Afghanistan in August of 2021. Wednesday, a Marine told members of Congress delays in the chain of command led to the death of that East Tennessee soldier. It was shocking testimony, and here is more from that Marine Corps sniper who says if he had been given orders to shoot, that young man from East Tennessee might be alive today. Around 2 a.m. on August 26th, Intel guys confirmed the suicide bomber in the vicinity of and nearing Abbey Gate. I asked the Intel guys why he wasn't apprehended sooner since we had a full description. I was told the asset could not be compromised. Throughout the entirety of the day on August 26, 2021, we disseminated the suicide bomber information to ground forces at Abbey Gate. We reassured him of the ease of fire on the suicide bomber. Pointedly, we asked him for engagement authority and permission. We asked him if we could shoot. Our battalion commander said, and I quote, I don't know, end quote. We received no update and never got our answer. To this day, we believe he was a suicide bomber. We made everyone on the ground aware, plain and simple, we were ignored. No one was held accountable for our safety. 10 minutes passed, <clears throat> then a flash <clears throat> and a massive wave of pressure. I'm thrown 12 feet onto the ground, but instantly knew what had happened. I opened my eyes to Marines dead or unconscious lying around me. Our military members and veterans deserve our best because that is what we give to America. The withdrawal was a catastrophe in my opinion. The 11 Marines, one sailor, <clears throat> and one soldier that were murdered that day have not been answered for. That testimony coming yesterday, U.S. Congressman Tim Burgett was in that hearing room and he called that revelation shocking and demoralizing. He says that Ryan Knauss and the lives of 12 others could have been saved that day if that sniper was given permission to shoot.